Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how we can draw this black dog, which is a Labrador. So the technique which I have used in the bear video is kind of a similar out here, but I'll show you a different method of doing the fur in this tutorial. Okay. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. So first of all, we are going to draw the basic shape of the dog. Okay. So see, I'm going to draw two lines. Okay. See in a T shape. Actually, this is the X axis and the Y axis. Now we are going to measure all the sides. Like what size you want the head to be. And then just by joining the ends, you can draw almost a uh, uh, perfect uh, circle or the circle which is necessary for the drawing. So instead of using any stencil or anything, today I'm going to show you how you can do the freehand drawing. Okay, because uh, uh, freehand drawing is very important with practice. You will be able to draw the figure without any reference lines or these basic shapes as well. So see here I am taking some lines and you have to draw the lines like these. Okay. I am going to go for a dark look out here so that you can understand the lines which I have used or you can use to do this drawing. Okay while drawing this drawing uh, this dog um, i did not use any basic shapes just because i have the practice okay in case you are a complete beginner these are the steps that you can follow to draw this structure without any reference image okay so then you have to draw that uh, oval shape out there and just see how I'm uh, doing the detailing. Okay. On that line, I'm placing the detailing which will be there. And then I have to draw the eye out there. Now see how I'm connecting the lines. Now this is where I'm placing the second eye. You can place it a little bit on the interior as well. This basic drawing is only for the, uh, you know, drawing this dog only, okay? For other drawings, you might have to use uh, different shapes. But in case you are a complete beginner, this is how you can draw the uh, basic shape for this drawing. Or this is, you can use this approach for any drawing. You see the guidelines which I have drawn, those act as the scale for any kind of drawing okay those act as the guidelines for any drawing so now see i'm go going for the body area as we go into the detailing you will be able to see the detailings which i have done now i will give you out here the rough sketching or the rough areas where i have put the detailing which I will use later on these are the places where my detailings will be so I'll be you know uh, adjusting the air a bit and these these areas which I'm marking now are the areas where the shadow or the fur will be drawn okay so you have to mark out the detailing as well so that you can follow them properly. This is specifically for the beginner so that you don't make too many mistakes. Okay. Now I'm uh, rubbing out the guidelines so then you can get an idea how the actual dog might look once the guidelines are deleted. Remember, I'm doing this in dark lines, but you have to do it in lighter tones so that you can rub out 
everything easily so here i use the reference image and i did a freehand drawing okay i did not use any guidelines out here because i already have some idea and some practice so because of that i don't i didn't needed those guidelines i just drew them out okay so and you can see how lightly i drew them out and now I'm placing the white just like in the bare video like I told you you have to give the white in the direction of the fur like the direction in which the fur will f is flowing in that direction you have to give the white this will act as the base as the basic base of the drawing and this step is very important I'll show you the alternative but this step at first is the basic step okay you can't skip this so see now I'm uh, giving the black and as soon as I'm giving the black in the direction of the fur I'm already getting a map of the uh, layout of the direction of the fur or the direction of the detailing which I have to give or the direction of the fur which I have to draw I'm getting a basic layout of it sorry for the sound so now I'm going for the uh, you know the first technique of fur which I showed you so see now you can already see the direction in which the fur will flow and you are already you can already guess out the areas where you have to put the detailing this is just like the bear video okay I have already shown this in the bear video if you haven't seen that video you can check that out for uh, you know a complete tutorial on the fur drawing here I will show you mainly another technique which we can use and why I'll be using it I'll be explaining that as well so right now I'm giving small strokes and I'm allowing the white underneath to guide me through the areas where I have to put those white furs remember this is a black dog and the white which we are seeing is the reflection on the furs okay the shine on the furs that's what we are going to draw now see the direction in which the furs appeared due to the white which I have put I am following those lines and I am able to draw the fur with my white pencil see and then I will be putting I can put some more black on it to make those black areas much more prominent and then I can carry on so see I'm giving those areas very you know a very detailed attention so this is the step which I have you have already seen okay and see how I am following the areas of detailing which I marked previously this is very important that's why I said that you should mark out the detailed areas as well like the areas where you want to put the detailing or the areas where the detailing must be put afterwards so you can see one more time how I am creating the furs with my white glass marking pencil and remember the white glass marking pencil is not putting any mark out there it's just scratching out the black layer and uh, giving the base white layer and exposing the white layer that's why we are able to see that way okay so this was the technique which I showed earlier okay now I'll show you 
another technique and why I have used this technique out here. So see, I am covering the entire area with black. Remember, this technique is a bit tough because once you put a complete layer of color, you won't be able to see any detailing after that. You have to, you know, eyeball everything. So see how I am covering the entire area with black. And remember the white is already underneath. And now I am doing the detailing. Now I am creating the furs. So why I choose this technique over the previous technique? Remember this. You, it will come in handy in other drawings as well. So bear is a furry animal. Okay. And the kind of drawing which we chose, it had fur on the entire area. And the entire body was covered with fur. So it was necessary that some white areas should get left out. Some white areas should get left out that would add to the abstractness of the fur and it will give and it gave the more realistic look to the bear but here the dog the is of black color and the fur is in such a way that no white areas could be seen. Only the areas where you mark out are the areas which will be seen and rest of the areas should be pitch black or completely black. That's why I decided to cover the entire area with black so that uh, once I'm done with the fur, I don't have to worry about any uh, unnecessary white spot being left out, which would, uh, you know, destroy the realism or, uh, you know, distract from the main subject. That's why I use this technique. Now the detailing which I am putting in, using the reference image, I'm eyeballing it completely when you will draw this drawing slow down the video a little bit or pause the video a little bit see the uh, direction which i have put in the detailing and then follow just don't you know just uh, draw blindly or just pass through or just see the video once that won't help these are you know devised techniques like in oil pastel the scratching technique this requires practice and for that you have to see how I am scratching everything and you have to see everything properly and follow properly as well and practice a lot so if you need it just watch the video once twice or thrice and give it a try and you will be definitely able to do it i'm using normal cottage paper out here and dom's oil pastel so see how i marked out the lower areas the area where the fur will be it's almost uh, you know 90% uh, done you can say it's 90% done but that realism has not been added yet I'll come to that later on right now I'm putting in white and I'm putting in some black in the areas where I need it where I need any curve or anything like that so now I 
heated my white a little bit and I gave some random strokes okay so that you get a variation of white okay if you don't know the heating technique then I'll give the link in the I button there you can check it out so now I'm putting in some brown and I'm putting in the detailing in the areas where I need those black spots or the brown spots here two colors have been used or three colors have been used like black brown and white so here you saw me using my pen knife for a while okay so I used that in that region because the concentration of the fur in that area was a lot and you needed those white fine lines out there that's why I used my pen knife otherwise the areas which require some black or brown to be seen underneath I used my white pencil So now I'm putting in some black again in the, in the areas where I might have scratched out too much. And then I'm just, uh, you know, perfecting the areas. So my camera stopped for a while out here. Here I marked out the areas where I need black. Okay. And see, I'm, pu I'm putting in some more black in the nose area and some, and some, um, some more areas. So the black is, you know, the black have been marked. Now I'm putting in some brown. Remember the white is already underneath. Okay. And now see when I'm putting in the brown. Now also I'm getting those uh, fine lines which I created using the white layer which I gave in the beginning so since the face is a complicated area or a area where it requires more attention I decided to use the technique which we have which we already know so see here I am blending out the colors a little bit but those lines are almost still there when I did this and if you I know you won't be able to see it, see it uh, up close from out here but those lines were still visible. So this is the advantage of the white color which we gave in the beginning. So I blended out those areas for a while because of the, you know, uh, you can say to get those natural colors, the natural color which we needed out there. So now to get a darker version of the brown, I'm putting in some black and then I'm putting in another layer of brown over it so that I get a darker version of brown only and those black become prominent the nostrils the black of the nostrils of the dog see I'm uh, making those black prominent again just look at that area See, now I'm up close and you can almost uh, see those lines or the uh, lines of the detailing. So now I'm putting in some more brown. Like uh, you can see I'm giving another layer. I'm just making it dark. Remember this is not a brown dog. This is a black dog but in some of the areas it just looks brown so that's why it has been given so at this stage I decided to do the background because I wanted to see how 
uh, it looks uh, with uh, you know in uh, comparison to the black background or in contrast to the black background so i'm putting in some more brown and some black here and there but every stroke which i am giving are all in the direction of the fur if you follow this basic simple rule that you have to give strokes in the direction of the fur you are um there is 90% chance that you won't go wrong or you won't mess up very badly it will be you know recoverable or you can say easy to follow or easy to do so see i am blending it out again so here three colors are getting mixed up together the white underneath the brown and the black so now you have to understand that some of the layering of white is gone and now the strokes which we will get won't uh, or the, the fur which we will get won't be completely white and that's what we need out here So see the areas where I'm putting in those black. These are very minute areas, but the, but these will determine those realism, you know. Like the like the dark areas of the dog. So see now I'm putting in the fur on the face, and wherever I need bit of you know extra white there. i'm just increasing the pressure by increasing the pressure what i will do is or what i did in this drawing is i took away entire top layer like the combination of the black brown and white i took off that layer entirely so that the white in the absolute underneath could be visible So see, I'm giving out. See, I'm doing those fur in the face, e facial areas, and I'm not getting absolute white like we got in the bottom portion. So here you can also see my face <laughs> because I went too close, and don't get shy to get very close to the drawing. Okay, work very closely if you have to. the absolute uh, you know uh, attention to the detailing because we are doing a realistic drawing so the detailing is what it will make it look like a realistic one right so pay absolute attention to that if you mess up anywhere just put in another layer of color over it and then do it again but be careful at that time and you won't be able to you know you won't destroy the drawing this is the advantage of oil pastel like you can always put in more colors to do another layer or give another try so see now the variations of colors are clearly visible the variations in the shades or the variations in the color of the fur at various places is easily visible the dog might still not look absolute realistic because the main reflections haven't been put yet okay those slight variations of color 
is what will make this drawing look realistic okay and we haven't come to that yet see i am doing the facial area the face area the fur on the face once i have i am done with one layering of fur i'm you know i'm looking at it from a distance and then i'm uh, you know i'm gathering in info i'm gathering the info like where the uh, dark area should be and or where i have done too much of scratching on those areas i'm putting in some more black so in case you put uh, any color in excess in any way don't panic you can always put in another layer that's what i also do and i have done the same thing out here so you have to go over one area over and over again so see here those four with absolute white those are the areas where i have put in lot of pressure here i use some flesh tint and some brown just in some zigzag motion some strokes of black so that the when i use my extra dark pencil the pastel could blend in with the uh, uh, black pencil it actually helps i have seen that if you put in some you know in a rough way only if you put in some black oil pastel and over that if you use the pencil the pencil feels much more smoother and the black comes out very nice and dark maybe the oil helps in that in creating that pitch black effect maybe maybe it has some help or maybe is i don't know but uh, i have seen from uh, what i have used or what i have done i have realized that putting some oil pastel before using the pencil helps in creating that effect much more easily i would say and the effect comes out nicer as well so now it's time for the realistic areas okay so now i'm putting in the reflections the areas where the reflections will be now i'm putting in some just minute dots so see first i give dark brown in that area then some black and then again some brown to get a version of dark brown only so that when i put in those small dots i can expose the dark brown underneath which is of lighter tone so this kind of uh, you know thinking you have to keep like what you want to expose in the last now i'm putting in the reflections in various areas and i'm creating those you know detailed folds or the folds which are protruding out of the face so now you can almost see how realistic it looks but to get it or make to make it look more realistic i'll give the variation of white now i am using my white pen and i am giving some strokes over the white areas which i have already drawn once i am done with that see the white the difference in white will make the reflection of fur even more brighter it brings out the shine much more nicely like the reflection of light much more nicely so see at one point the reflection is too much 
so in that area i have given some good amount of you know lighting with my white pen and i'm just going over some of the areas with the white pen to you know give that variation of white this is a very minor thing but it will you know add to the realism a lot so when you go far from an object the fur becomes much more smaller so here i am giving very small you know strokes using my white pen and this is also very important here if you give long fur then it won't look realistic because you are looking at a further image like the uh, portion of the body which is which we can't see properly out here so here i am giving a layer of white over the black this is actually the reflection on the rest of the part of the body and then i am giving some white uh, used my white pen to give some more reflections now i will just uh, you know place some do some random strokes of uh, using my white uh, oil pastel and that way you will get three variations of white out there which will add absolutely to the realism so we are almost to the end of the tutorial there is nothing more to say in this if you stay till the end then thanks a lot it helps a lot if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell notification cuz i upload new videos every week this time it got delayed due to my severe back pain extremely sorry for that so until next time goodbye